Today on this episode of What It Looks Like, I have been back to Sam's Club and this time I found Uno's Pizzeria Tastefuls. Now this looks really, really good on the box. Let's see if you can see that. Boy, that looks really good. Now I had one something similar before. It looked so good on the box, but man, it was not good. It was that pub steak and ale. I put a, a link to that video, I guess right here. I think it goes right here. And if you didn't see that one, oh my God, that was, I, I just let you watch the video. But today we, we got tastefuls and it says steak and cheese. This is what it says, signature Uno crust loaded with sliced steak and mozzarella, cheddar and provolone cheese. Oh boy, that sounds so good. Now this one I bought at Sam's Club, like I mentioned, it was $13.88 for this entire box. There are 10 in the box, so that's really a good deal, a good value, what, $1.38 uh, per um, tasteful? So, sounds like it should be pretty good. But as always, we're going to see what it smells like, what it tastes like, and of course, what it looks like, because the box, the picture looks so good, it looks so edible, but will it hold up to the test? We're gonna find out today on what it looks like. Wanna go to the store, wanna get some. Wanna go to the store, wanna eat some. The food on the box look good, don't it? Should you buy it, should you wait, should you jump on it? You wanna know if it good, does it taste right? Wanna try before you buy it, what it looks like? Hey, hey, what it looks like? Hey, hey, what it looks like? Wanna go to the store, wanna get some. Wanna go to the store, wanna eat some. What it looks like? Hey, hey, what it looks like? All right, let's open her up. See what we're working with. Well, sometimes these boxes are hard to open. There we go. Ah, individually wrapped. I like that. Let's take one of them out. Those look kind of small. <laughs> All right, let's see how it looks inside the package. Okay. Oh, it looks already pre-cut too. Interesting. Well, it's really tiny. I mean, this is tiny. You gotta eat like three or four of these things for lunch or dinner. All right, let's see how it's gonna look. All right, so you're only supposed to open up one end of the package here to cook it. So we've got that one end open, put it in here for a minute and 45 seconds if it is frozen. But before we see what it looks like, let's check out the nutritional facts. Calories, 310 per serving. Serving size, one package. Total fat, 15 grams. Saturated fat, six grams. Trans fat, zero grams. Cholesterol, 30 milligrams. Sodium, 590 milligrams. Total carbohydrates, 32 grams. Dietary fiber, zero grams. Total sugars, two grams protein 13 grams and now let's see what it looks like what it looks like is a lot thinner than what you see on the box for some reason on the box the thing looks like it's super thick like it has a lot of ingredients in there whereas in real life it looks like it's flattened like it's not a whole lot of stuff in there look see if i can open it up a little bit you can't really see all the layers inside like you do here on the box you can definitely tell that the box was handcrafted, like it was really made specifically for the photo op. Whereas in real life, once you cook it, this is how it looks. And so now it doesn't look bad. You know, it looks pretty decent actually. Uh, you can see the melted cheese in there. It looks, looks like it may taste pretty good, but it does not look like the box uh, at all. The box, you can see individual layers of meat, cheese, meat, cheese, whereas here is all blended together. And that's really what I would expect to happen once you put it in a microwave or an oven. You expect the cheese to melt. Whereas here, I'm not quite sure how they got this to look that way. Also notice how on the box, it looks like the, uh, look like they cooked it a different way. Like it looks like, like ours, like they, they cooked it 
and open it up on this side of the of the uh, tasteful as opposed to the lengthwise. So it definitely looks like they did it a little bit differently than the way it comes out of the package. But either way, overall, it's not too bad, but it's not quite the way it looks on the box. Oh man, the bread, you can smell the bread. That smells delicious. It smells like freshly doughed uh, or freshly baked bread. So that's wonderful. The cheese, I smell the cheese. That smells good. Uh, I can't really smell the steak too much, but man, it, I mean, just overall, my first overall impression of how it smells is, is delightful. The crust, I don't, I don't know if you can tell how if crust smells flaky, but it smells like it's gonna be like a flaky, nice uh, type of crust. I mean, it smells really good. Yeah, no problems with the way it smells at all. I think you'll be happy with this. I like it. It's a little, it's a little dry. Like I feel like it needs something inside of it besides the bread and the cheese. But flavor-wise, man, it's, it's it's hitting on pretty good. I could definitely eat this for lunch, no problem whatsoever. Especially at a dollar thirty-eight cents per each one. So that's not that's a really good deal. The steak has a nice, nice flavor to it. it it's almost like it has. Like, like a pepper steak almost. The bread is a little bit doughy, almost like it could have been cooked a little bit longer, but the instructions said a minute, 45 seconds. Now, I wonder how it would taste in the oven. It does have oven instructions, which you have to do cook one of these for 30 minutes. So that's not very uh, energy efficient to cook one. You almost have to cook the whole box for it to really be worthwhile. <laughs> Maybe it will look a little bit crispier uh, cooked in the oven. But I mean, overall, I really like the taste of it. I'm gonna do another bite. There you get what you pay for. It's literally steak and cheese and bread. Now, if it had, if it could add in some, dare I say, onion, onions, because I'm not really an onion person, but I think some sweet onions would be really good in here. Definitely some sweet peppers. Oh man, that would, that would really, that would really change the taste profile of this particular, um, I don't even know if you can call it a meal, almost like a snack. <laughs> if you could somehow maneuver some of those things in there, mm, it'd be a whole lot better. But overall, it's decent. Definitely edible, definitely doable, it's cost efficient, or cost effective rather, and I think you can go wrong. It's pretty decent flavor. And don't forget, if you like watching the videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm sure you have plenty of friends. Hey, why not tell them, come take a look, hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it if you did. That would be awesome. And I just appreciate all the support that everyone gives for this channel. And I hope to continue to bring you more and more items so that you can know what it looks like, what it smells like, and what it tastes like, and not be fooled by the way it looks on the box. Welcome to the Will Awards, where the contestants will be judged on smell, taste, and of course, what it looks like. Each contestant must score at least 20 points. And let's go to the judges on the first category of smell. It's a seven, bro. Next up is taste. Seven. And now for that all important category, what it looks like. Six. Thank you so much for watching What It Looks Like. 
we are dedicated to bringing you our honest opinion about the way it smells, tastes, and of course, what it looks like. So please like and subscribe today. Don't wait. Why would you wait? Please hit that notification bell right now. And if there is a food product that you would like for us to try before you buy, please leave us a comment below. And if we can find it at our local grocery store, we will show you what it looks like. No animals were harmed in the making of this video. However, they may or may not have been harmed in the making of the contestant. But we had nothing to do with that. We promise, honestly, you can trust.